and greetings everybody and welcome to another Jest Reviews and what an action packed um, review I have for you today. Uh, we'll be reviewing items which I've picked up from the latest Angel's Wake lockbox. No ship unfortunately. I did try but uh, yes my luck wasn't in. But anyway moving on. I did manage to get a ball antiproton multi-beam rifle, a ball antiproton assault minigun, a ball antiproton wide beam pistol and a ball antiproton full auto rifle. I also got the universal kit module, the ball obelisk network. Uh, we'll also be reviewing the new Red Angel suit as well, uh, which I uh, acquired a couple of days ago, having completed the uh, latest assignment to pick that up. So, very quickly, uh, we'll run over the weapons, shall we? Uh, now this is my favourite, the Baal Antiproton Multi-Beam Rifle, which I've re-rolled to crit D times 4. As you can see, it's 38.7 uh, Antiproton damage times 305.6 DPS, plus 80% critical severity, uh, with a 2% critical chance. Oh, what does this here? Ball refraction, each shot changed to an additional target for 5%. Of attack damage, 7.5 chance, uh, plus 10% critical severity buff for self and 15 seconds. Stacks up to three times. Um, I I love this weapon. This is fast becoming my go-to weapon. I think it will feature when I do another review of weapons. Is my number one. I can assure you. Uh, we'll also look at the ball anti-proton full auto rifle, uh, which again 5.7 anti-proton damage times three. 148, 148, 143, sorry, 0.8 damage per second. Barred refraction, each shot changed to an additional target uh, for 5% attack damage. Uh, oops, that is, is where have we gone? Uh, so if we look there, plus 20% critical severity and 6% critical chance. Now also on my bridge officers, I've done, what is this one? Oh, we've covered the multi beam rifle. What is this one? Ah, here we go. The assault minigun. Um, yes, it's still. Uh, yeah, I've got it up to Mark 14, very rare. Uh, sorry, Mark 15, very rare. Um, so, still room for improvement. And I may do a few re rolls on it, but never mind. 79.8 um, antiproton damage times 468 damage per second. Ball refraction, each shot changed to an additional target for 5% of attack damage. Plus 20% critical severity. Uh, so basically, what what these rifles and, and weapons are doing, they're hitting the uh, opponent, and then you know you got a chain effect where it shoots off, very much like the um, this weapon here, the Herald Antiproton Beam. And we're also looking at the Ball Antiproton Wide Beam Pistol. Um, now this is 59.5 uh, anti-proton damage times 264 DPS and ball refraction each shot changed to an additional target uh, for 5% of attack damage. 20% critical severity, 2.5 chance, 6.5 radiation damage per second uh, for 15 seconds in a 10 meter radius. Okay so there are they're the weapons and uh, what we'll do now is we'll try them out and uh, you'll get an idea of what they do and how effective they are uh, personally speaking i like the bile anti-proton multi-beam rifle myself i think it's a very cool weapon anyway i think i've said that once haven't i yes um, i won't um, activate the red angel suit just yet so it only lasts for 45 seconds and i'd rather do that when we're in the uh, middle of a bit of uh, battle with the bad guys enough said let's uh, crack on oh and i'll tell you what we'll also do we'll try and activate the universal kit module as well at some point in time the ball uh, obelisk network um so anyhow enough said let's uh, get into action shall we right follow me here we go and just as we enter there are the bad guys So they don't last long. 
helps if I turn the hood on, doesn't it? So what we'll do now is I'll swap to my favourite weapon, which is the multi-beam rifle. I'm sure you'll like this one. Here we go. They don't uh, last long, don't enemies, with these weapons, do they? Right, so... Let's have another... As you can see, it's just like the Iconian weapon, where it... Uh, chains on to the next enemy. There we go, that's that sorted out. Now what I'm going to try and do is I'll try and activate the Universal Kit Module, the Ball Obelisk Network and see if we can get that to work. Uh, actually, might be better in here. Right, so we're going to free the prisoners, but first of all we're going to activate whoops, a bit of rubber band in there, and again. There you go. We didn't have left to lift a finger there, did we? Right, so let's... Uh, test out the red angel costume shall we right here we go I'll give you the stats to this suit after we've finished uh, because it has some really interesting bits to it so while we still have it on let's go take some more bad guys on See, it only lasts for 45 seconds, and uh, it's got a minute and a half cooldown. Actually, two minutes, I think. I think it's two minutes cooldown. So it's... Uh, yeah, I really like these ball weapons. They're quite cool, aren't they? Let's go back to the... Uh, who's this? Another Ravager. Right, let's get into these. Okay, right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the Ball Anti-Proton Assault Minigun. Because uh, I always like these, I think they're great fun. So we'll uh, give the minigun a bit of a go, actually got an audience in here we may as well test it out on them wouldn't we so, let's give them the good news right well that, that was cool I always like mini guns they're really good aren't they right so come on gang let's go where's everybody So this is the minigun. Ah, but we don't have any foes, do we? Let's give another blast with the minigun. Yeah, it'd be nice if it went on for a little bit longer, I think. Mm 
Yeah, have some of that. Right, let's head on deeper into the uh, bad guys' den. Is there any bad guys down here? Oh, some bad guys here, look. Let me take them now. Not in the right direction, really, is it? Right, so what we'll do is we'll find some more bad guys. Okay, so here we go. So let's uh, let's put a few kit module sentry stations up, shall we? Guess what we've done here? We've put a few of these file sentry stations up. Go back to the minigun. Let's uh, head off up here. Oh, take the armor. Right, do we have any more bad guys? I think we've I think we've killed them all, haven't we? Right, okay. Okay, so let's test these uh, Bile Universal kit modules, these obelisks out. Let's see how they... Oops. If we can stop getting killed. So here they are. Oh, that's how they work, look. Now then, these um, obelisks, uh, these featured in the episode where um, the Kelpin Saru uh, went back to his home planet and the Baal, who are the high-tech race on uh, the planet, who shared it with the Kelpins, um, used these, um, yes, these, uh, what are they, obelisks? Um, to monitor the kelpins because the kelpins apparently were rather dangerous it proves that uh, did prove actually that the kelpins were more than capable of handling the uh, the bow anyhow it would appear the bow were frightened of them and so uh, created these um, obelisks to keep them in check some would say that uh, this is a bit of a copy to the uh, Paradise Syndrome episode of um, Star Trek the original series where Kirk actually found a very similar device um, which um, 
pushed asteroids away from the planet. So it makes you wonder, doesn't it, if the, uh, if the ball actually went there as well. So what we'll do is, as soon as we get the appropriate time, I'll activate the Red Angel suit again. And uh, we'll see her in action one more time. Right, activate the Red Angel costume. Off we go. Well, there you have it. We've done a little bit of a brief demonstration uh, with regards to all these weapons I picked up in the uh, latest Angel's Wake lockbox. Hopefully I'll pick up a ship soon if I carry on. Uh, I very much doubt it though, my luck's not been in just lately. But uh, anyway, um, as I promised, let's have a quick look at the statistics. You've seen the suit um, working, albeit for 45 seconds a pop. So let's have a quick look, shall we, at the stats for this suit. Um, I've been reading some pretty impressive things about it, actually. Um, so, let's have a read. Uh, Red Angel suit is usable by captains only. Yep. Uh, the time crystals necessary to travel far through time weren't possible to recreate, but the suit itself was. Powerful and versatile, its functions as standard combat armor until its special properties are needed. These properties referred to as Red Angel mode can only be used for a short while before the systems must recharge. If the wearer would uh, ever be defeated while in Red Angel mode, the Red Angel visits them from the future of their timeline, reviving them. Wow, I haven't seen that. Releasing a shockwave blast, knocking nearby enemies down and damaging them. This effect has a separate internal recharge time. Activate Red Angel mode. When the wearer engages the suit, a number of things happen at once. First, a blast of energy knocks back, dis disables and damages nearby enemies. Second, their appearance temporarily becomes that of the Red Angel. Third, they trade their normal weapon active abilities for a new set of abilities. Fourth, they receive large bonuses to speed, damage and damage resistance. Well, that, that actually... I saw that, so I'm quite happy with that. That's quite a cool um, thing. The Red Angel can activate Temporal Shockwave against the target foe. This deals heavy damage to the target and nearby foes and shunts them forward in time, several seconds, removing them from the battlefield entirely until they arrive in the future. This suit can also discharge its internal power supply for an area of effect, EMP, Although smaller than the one seen on uh, Kaminar, this EMP still disables all mechanical abilities of nearby foes, as well as dealing heavy electrical damage to mechanical and incorporeal entities. Incorporeal. Wow. Big words today. Uh, large Harpo sprays and shield recharge devices are integrated with the suit and may well be used without consuming a device. This has a modest recharge. So straight down here, plus 18 all damage resistance rating, plus 13.5 phaser damage resistance rating, 182.4 maximum hit points, plus 45 root resistance rating, 45 knockback resistance rating, 46.3 all damage resistance rating, 77.1 anti-proton damage resistance rating, and 15% maximum shield capacity. Uh, let's uh, if defeated, apply Red Angel Revive. Red Angel appears to heal and revive where it applies. Uh, when activating heal to present. Okay, right. Right, so. I think you get the idea, don't you? Wow, that's cool, isn't it? That is a cool effect. Well, there you go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this review. And to catch further reviews for Star Trek Online, hit that subscribe button. And uh, just to cover one other point, if you actually want to see the Red Angel and the Ball and the um, um, 
the Obelisk Network, the Ball Obelisk Network. If you, you catch that episode on uh, Star Trek Discovery, and I believe that is the Sound of Thunder episode. Right, without further ado, well, I hope you've enjoyed this review, and uh, I'll catch you later. So this is just a uh, signing off. <laughs>